So then, here we are. You've tuned in for yet another plugs video on Wayne's Electrical, and in this video, then we're going to be discussing bayonet cap adapters. Okay, we've got a couple there up in front of the camera, and I'm pretty sure that other brands and goodness knows what else were available, and the fact that they might have been available in brown and all of that lot. What we're going to be discussing in this video then is the typical usage of those adapters there up in front of the camera. To start with then, one of such usage of uh, the kind of adapter would be for an electric shaver. Okay, so I'm going to take out that one that's uh, to the left there, this one. We'll come back to that in a moment or two. We're going to be looking at this one then. It's got the bayonet cap on the end there, two pins, you see the brass parts on there. It does actually say something on the end of that. Made in England, so this is a British made one. Okay, so it's made in up there in England, down the bottom there. Let's see if I can get a zoom on it for you, because I know you want to see that. In full HD, of course. There it is. Made in England, then. That would actually make for a really nice video thumbnail right there. Okay then, let's move on. So we've got a bayonet cap on there then. On the other side of this, there we go, we've got a two pin socket. And of course that would be used for a shaver. So what we need now is a shaver plug like this. And I'm pretty sure once again other brands were available. This one just so happens to be MK. And you can know what's going to happen here. We've got our shaver plug. And we plop that in there. Okay. Like that. That's quite a snug fit. And I've got, dip, I've got a feeling I'm going to have difficulty removing that. But you can tell now that uh, we've got our shaver plug in there. And that is now converted over to a bayonet cap. So you can then plug your shaver into the light sockets. Okay. It's not something that's really done that much anymore today, but you can see that uh, it was and might very well have been back in the day. Not only that, it wasn't just shavers that were wired into these plugs, so you could have uh, you know, put uh, an iron in there. Okay, a small iron, like a little 250 watt iron or something like that. Okay, that was always an option. Okay. And so on and so forth. As I predicted, that's a little bit snug. Okay, I've removed it. Okay, so we've got the shaver plug then, and you can put that in there and connect your uh, shaver into light sockets. Now, other methods of connecting, like I say, into light fittings was an electric iron. Okay, and you could have either used a plug like this, keeping in mind that electric irons years ago, they wouldn't have been earthed, they would have been like about 300 watts or something, and you could have wired your electric iron in there, and then that would have given you a variety of options, okay, this being one of them, you could plug that in there and put that into the light socket, Okay, other options included would be to use something like this. You've got the two-pin socket around the side there. Plug that in there. And then you can put that in the standard three-pin, five-amp electrical outlet. That was always an option. And if this wasn't available, you could then use something a little bit bigger like this. There's a 15-amp on there. Okay, around the side, once again, we've got a five-amp. So we can get our shaver in there or an electric iron. And away you go. There was always that. And in case, instead of saving all this hocus pocus about getting your electric iron and using an adapter, what you could have done was 
just to get your iron and wire it straight into a plug like this and on the other side of this plug you put your flex in there for the iron and on the other side we've got an adapter bayonet cap adapter straight off okay so you know you could you could get these I've got one right here and as you can see you would wire your iron straight into there and straight into the socket it goes okay once again, I think this one says Made in England on it. It's very small writing. Let's see if I can get a zoom on that for you. Full HD, don't forget. That's just not doing that, is it? We almost had that as well. There's something about this camera. We're sort of getting closer and closer and closer. It's focusing it in and all of a sudden, whack, it goes right out. Let's try again on that then. Right, let's try not to push that too much. Okay, it says made in England there. And over there it says something or rather. That would surprise me if that was actually British standard on that. I can see something on it. But then I'm looking at this on a silly little two inch screen on the side of a camera. What we'll do is I'll just take that away and have a look at that with my own eyes. And I probably won't be able to figure out what it says. Okay. Yeah, I can't figure out what that is, what that says. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get stuff it right into the camera. Hold it up there with my fingers. And then zoom in on it. Okay, right, we can actually get on that. I don't shine too much light on it. If I'm right in saying it, it says British Standard 52A. That's absolutely unbeknown to me. I've never known that standard before. I think we just might have discovered something on Wayne's Electrical. British Standard 52A, then. Made in England. So there you are. We've just discovered something new on Wayne's Electrical. I don't know if this has got a make on it. You can tell, pretty tell that's pretty yellowed and very well used. But uh, British Standard 52A, then. On Wayne's Electrical. So, like I was saying, this here, you wire of iron straight in there. Okay, and then plug it straight into the light sockets. And of course, we've got that situation once again where if the light fitting wasn't available, or you was in a room where there just isn't a light fitting, uh, you'd then need somewhere to plug that in. Okay, and this is where that comes into play. Okay, as you can see, we've got bayonet cap adapter on there. And then we've got the two pin plug on there. Okay, remember this. Well, there it is. Got two pins on that end, your bayonet cap on that end. Okay, and we can take our eye in now, put that in there, and then that converts your iron bayonet plug over to a two pin adapter, like so. And then, if you had such a socket on your wall, in your house, they were available because I own one. Uh, you could put that straight into that socket. Okay, and if you didn't have one of those, then you could get something like this. It's five pin on there, five amp, uh, five, five pin. Let's go again with it. Three pin, five amp. Okay, it's British Standard 546 in case you were wondering. And round the side there we got the two pins. And that two pin standard is British Standard 372. We can get this straight in there, like so, and we can now connect our iron, which has got a bayonet plug on it, into a 5-amp, five, 3-pin uh, five outlet. Okay. The only thing I would say about these adapters is they don't have shutters on them. Okay, so this one here, as you can see, if I was to put that in a wall socket, this on here, you can't get your fingers in there. Okay, that on there, you can't get your fingers in there, even though that doesn't have any shutters on it, which these days is no longer permitted. And around the other side, again, 
you can't get your fingers in there because the holes are too small. But the minute I put something like this in there, uh, well, safety goes right out of the window. Okay, because as we know with any bayonet cap uh, like fitting, even the ones to, of today, there's no shutters on there. You can get your fingers straight in there and get it nice and fizzy and sizzly and get a nice little wallop right up your arm. And just to prove that that kind of thing happened six years ago, I've got the adapters from right back in the day, right here now in front of the camera. And yes, if you left that like that and the wall socket is left switched on, you could get your finger in there and take a nice little roasty wallop. Okay, and of course, if you didn't have a 5 amp th 3 pin socket available, remember this. You could use something like this, and this on here is 3 pin 15 amp, which is standard 546. And around the side, once again, we got the 2 pin uh, adapter, which is standard 372, which is what that plugging standard is. Straight in there. No worries at all, and then get our iron and connect it in the side of there, just like that. Okay, and then you can put that in the wall socket, and away you go. And of course, because there's also an outlet on there, you can also plug something in there, and there we are. Okay, these adapt adapters are unfused as well, so you know if you had something like 12 amp in there, 12 or 13 amps in there, and then you added. 250, 300 watt iron. Uh, yeah, you know, you'd have to be careful not to overload this socket here. Okay, so we've got a variety of different options there and all of that. Now, would something like this work with a modern day shaver? Okay, because we've got the shaver plug from back in the day, and I can tell you right now that it does. Okay, if I bring this in front of the camera, this is my. Uh, power cord for my shaver okay uh, in in this video just before now I said that this plugging standard on here is British Standard 372 that has now since been replaced by British Standard uh, 4573 I believe somewhere around about there yeah British Standard 4573 it does actually say on there in the smallest of writing so, yeah, British Standard 372 has now been replaced by British Standard 4573. And if I get this, you will see that uh, that goes in there quite comfortably. Okay. It's not recommended to do that these days, but, you know, this is one electrical. And, yeah, you know, I'm a skilled electrical person. You shouldn't do this if you're an end user. But uh, you can see that uh, some of the shenanigans I get up to. And that's perfectly usable. Okay, I've given this a test. Uh, continuity and insulation resistance test and all that lot. And it's just fine. Okay, the only thing I would say about these is you can actually get that plug in there. Like that. And that's obviously dodgy because if you've got the shaver plugged in here. Uh, and that's in the light socket. That pin there... If that so happens to be the live pin, because this don't forget this and going either way around, they're non polarised. But if that turns out to be the live pin there, and you slot that in like that, the power will go down to the shaver, come back up the other wire, and this pin here, which is lovely and exposed and ready to give you a nice little roasty walloping, uh, if you accidentally touch it, you will, as I've already said, get a big old wallop up your arm. Okay, so there's no shroud around this to prevent that sort of thing from happening. And again, that is the reason why these aren't used anymore, and why, if you do get old one, I would not recommend using it. Okay, don't forget, I, uh, you know, I'm a skilled electrical person, and I know to make sure that is thoroughly connected in there, as it should be, before putting that into a live outlet. Okay, so, although I've shown all these sort of things up in front of the camera, and adapters like this and all of this sort of shenanigans i wouldn't recommend buying or using any of this stuff because we've got electrical standards these days which uh, you should be sticking to and not using electrical equipment from back in the day because in today's standards wall sockets and adapters like this they do have to have shutters on this doesn't neither does that big brown one and just like this plug the pins should be sleeved, and years ago they weren't. 
Okay, so there we are. So what we've been looking at in this video then is bayonet cap adapters and how they were used back in the day to uh, convert either from your bayonet cap over to a two pin socket or from a two pin plug over to a bayonet cap. The silly thing is if I actually connected those two together they kind of cancel each other out because I could start off with a two pin plug on there connect that in there and I've now got a two pin socket totally pointless okay and it's the same it would be the same round the other way if I connected that in there bayonet cap there bayonet socket there okay so there we are I hope you enjoyed watching that one okay a bit later on we will be looking at more plugs adapters and funny little quirky things because don't forget this is Wayne's Electrical we do electrical bits and pieces from the usual to the more bizarre Okay, I've got to wrap this one up now because it's uh, banged on for a little bit. By the time we're getting the intro and outro on it, you look at about 16, 17 minutes. I'm out of here. If you enjoyed that one, a big old thumb up, okay, would be much appreciated. And if you haven't already, do really whack that subscribe button so that you don't miss out on more interesting plugs and bits and pieces like this. And of course, full HD, don't forget, 1920 by 1080p on Wayne's Electrical as it always is. Okay, so I've got to go now. I'd like to say thanks for watching another Plugs video.